Hey guys, it's Simi and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. As well, Gallows and Anderson tell a story that they almost signed with AEW in 2019 and how close that actually came. On their Talking Shop Live podcast last night, they told the story on how WWE was coming at them with multiple different contract offers, but none that really enticed them. They said that they spoke with the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega about coming into AEW and all but agreed to sign with the company, even setting up a meeting with Tony Khan. The plan would have been for them to debut on the debut episode of Dynamite on TNT. But then, they went to Japan with WWE, and that is when everything went awry. So according to Gallows and Anderson, they had a meeting set with Tony Khan that was supposed to be basically as soon as they got back from Japan. But while they were in Japan... Triple H came at them with an offer, a big, big money offer, that they could not refuse. They ended up taking the offer while in Japan with WWE and having to call up the Bucks and say, well, now uh, we don't need that meeting with Tony Khan. The interesting thing here is that they had also talked to Rocky Romero about signing with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Rocky told a story on the podcast where he got a text message from the Young Bucks basically saying, hey, those mother screwed us. Those mother made us look bad because the young bucks basically were telling people hey we got gals and anderson they're gonna sign they want to sign they're gonna come and then just all of a sudden they're not coming gals and anderson said that there was some heat on them for a while with people in w gals and anderson stated that there were heat on them for this for a while with people within aew and according to sean ross sap of fightful.com he also states that chris jericho was specifically upset with them not coming. He states that Jericho was particularly off-put, as many thought the deal was all done, and Jericho was quote-unquote hilariously outspoken about this at AEW tapings. Jericho had apparently become friendly with Carl Anderson ahead of this contract situation and was all but thinking like everybody else was that they were coming into AEW. Gallows and Anderson stated on the podcast that they've basically smooth things over with the Young Bucks, but there are still people within the company that have some power that are still not happy with them. So now that heat that they had for not signing last year, did that factor into them not going to AEW now and instead signing with Impact and working New Japan Pro Wrestling in the future? They didn't state if that was the case. They kind of hinted that it may be, but that they were not 100% sure. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe right here on YouTube.